Hey there, eighth grade students. I've heard that a lot of you are worried about missing the eighth grade awards ceremony. Well, calm your fears. We're gonna go in the cafeteria right now and start the eighth grade awards ceremony. Meet me over there in a couple minutes and we'll get started. Hello, I'm Mr. Nash, eighth grade assistant principal at Seminole Middle School. Welcome to the 2019-20 virtual 8th grade awards ceremony. It is my honor to have had the privilege to see our 8th grade class blossom and flourish this past school year. We at SMS realize that we are living in uncertain times, but we are certain that our students have the skills and determination to achieve any goal they set for themselves. The teachers and staff here at SMS are so proud of all the hard work and effort this eighth grade class has shown throughout the school year, especially as we transitioned to online learning. Our first awards to present are the Pride Awards. Every year, Pinellas County Schools honor eighth grade students from all over the district as part of their program to recognize initiative and distinction in education. Each student winner will receive a certificate and a trophy to recognize their academic achievement. Seminole Middle Core Course teachers will now present their Pride Award winners. Hello, the Language Arts Pride Award is an award given to students that demonstrate excellent writing abilities. Students must submit original and unique pieces in order to be considered. This year, our award winner is a strong, dedicated, and all-around epic student. Valerie LeBlanc. Congrats, Valerie. Brennan Maisie is an amazing young mathematician. She always works hard to push herself to excellence by always exceeding expectations. Her questioning and study skills, organization, and remarkable knowledge of the content are examples of her mathematical academic excellence. She is also a delightful young lady that is respectful, generous, and always supportive and kind to everyone around her. Congratulations, Brennan Maisie, for earning the 2019-2020 Seminole Middle School Mathematics Pride Award. Hello, eighth grade students and families. The Science Pride Award is given to a deserving student who displays academic achievement and commitment to learning for all three years of middle school. As a teacher, it's always a delight to have a student that shows up to class every day with a smile on their face and a desire to learn. I've been fortunate to experience this with Amelia. Having taught her for both 7th and 8th grade, I was able to watch her grow, not only as a person, but also as a scientist. Amelia's curious personality along with her amazing work ethic and her superb critical thinking skills will take her far in her future roles in life and in science. I have no doubt in whatever career Amelia pursues, her scientific skill set will contribute to the well-being of society. It is my honor to present this year's Science Pride Award to Amelia Grusso. Hi, my name is Cassandra Byman and I'm presenting the History Pride Award for this year. This award goes to a student who has consistently earned A's in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade history classes. She also won the County Geography B competition and went to finals in the Pinellas History Day Fair. That student is Lauren Becerra. Congratulations, Lauren. Bonjour. Ça va? It is my great pleasure to present this Pride Award in world languages, specifically in French, to Kathleen Ward. Kathleen is a very engaged student with very positive attitude through all these years. She's very active participant in all discussions and class activities, and she had never been afraid of challenges in French class. She always embraced these challenges with optimism and dedication. She enjoys learning and is she's really true scholar. She also shows great enthusiasm in her desire to become 
a perfect bilingual in French. I so feel honored, so honored to have been your teacher. Kathleen, I'm so proud of you. Keep shining bright. You are all star. Good luck and congratulations. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir et bonne chance. Congratulations to our Pride Award winners. We are so proud of you. We have more district level award winners that we would like to recognize. Every year, the Pinellas County School Board recognizes students that win the Carwise Minority Achievement Award, the Maria Edmonds Hispanic Achievement Award, and the Yes I Can Award. Typically, these awards would be presented at a district-wide ceremony. It is with great honor that we recognize the winners of these district-level awards. At this time, I'd like to announce the winners of the Joseph L. Carwise Minority Achievement Award. This award is given to students who have maintained high performance and displayed exemplary character throughout the school year. This year, our award winners are Najee Domingos, Armani Gary, and Willie Scott. Congratulations to the three of you. It is an honor to present the following students who received the Maria Edmond Hispanic Award. This is a district level award that recognizes high achieving Hispanic students. These outstanding students are Yara Valentin, Ian Arroya Barbosa, Celia Guzman, and Daisy Rizzo Rivera. Great job, students. Muchas felicidades. Eighth graders, congratulations. The end of the year has finally come. You've worked so hard and you're finally able to transition into high school. We're very proud of you. But today I'd like to take the time to recognize someone who's worked hard throughout the entire year and made several goals to improve. Trey Sanders is this year's Yes I Can Award winner. Trey, we're very proud of all the success you've done and we really can't wait to see all the things you have in planned for your future. Congratulations, Trey, and way to go Hawks. Congratulations to our district award winners. We have one final district level award to recognize. Every year, I have the honor of presenting the Turnaround Award. This is a district level award where each school nominates an eighth grade or senior level student that made a significant academic and or behavior turnaround. I am proud to present our Turnaround Award to Chris Walsh. Chris had a great year at Seminole Middle. Chris came to us from another school in seventh grade. And when he came in to SMS, everyone knew who Chris was, but not for good reasons. This year, Chris did a phenomenal job at school. He turned things around both academically and behaviorally. His teachers report that he is very respectful in class and he has a great sense of humor. Chris is now an AB student and we are so proud of how far he has come this school year. We know he will do great things next year at Dixie Hans High School. Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations, Chris Walsh. What a great person to nominate and to get this award for turnaround. And now I'd like to transition into our Take Stock in Children Award recipients. These are students who have signed to earn a scholarship from now until the end of their senior year. If they meet the certain criteria, meaning continued good grades, good attendance, good behavior in and out of school, then they will be rewarded with a scholarship to a Florida college for their tuition. So this is a big deal. And the students, the eighth graders, I would like to acknowledge today that our recipients of this scholarship are Riley Bronca, Jocelyn Mead, Gabrielle Reed, Alyssa Sturgis. 
And then joining these students new this year are Shadiman Adger, Sky Siebel, and Reina Suarez. Congrats to these Take Stock in Children scholarship recipients. May you continue doing good work in high school so that you will go on off to college with your tuition paid for. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our Take Stock and Children's Scholarship recipients. Next, we have our Elective Achievement Awards. These awards are being given to students who have shown high merit and character in an elective area of study. The winners were selected and will be presented by their teachers. Hello, Summer Middle School 8th graders. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mr. Tate. I've been your visual art teacher for three quarters and one quarter of online learning. Today I'm going to present to you the 2020 Artistic Excellence Award for Seminole Middle School 8th grade students. When thinking about this award, I was thinking of students who could take criticism about their artwork from me and their classmates, took challenges in their work, and weren't afraid of risks. And without further ado, the 2020 Artistic Excellence Award. And the award goes to Tyler Texera and Charlie Besaw. Hi, eighth grade. This is Mrs. Carver, and I am here to award the Avid Excellence Award. Our first award goes to a student who's been an avid student for three years. She is always on task, uh, definitely embodies the philosophies and principles of AVID, and it is my pleasure to award this one to Riley O'Brien. For our second AVID award, this also goes to a student who has been in AVID for three years. Uh, this student is very friendly, outgoing. She is willing to collaborate and work with whoever um, she is put with. She is full of life and definitely embodies the principles of AVID. And that award goes to Addison Hutchins. We're very proud of you, Addison. The eighth grade pride award for BAM goes to Anna Kay. During her time here with me, she was principal clarinet player in the symphonic band. And she was also chosen to be a part of the 2020 All County Ensemble. I wish her nothing but the best in high school know that I am here right across the street to help you with whatever you need. Good luck in high school. Keep practicing. Hello everyone. This is Miss Wyant from Chorus and I'm here to share with you this year's recipient of the Joey Miazga Character Award. This award is named for former Seminole Middle Chorus teacher Joanne Miazga and the recipient of it is an eighth grade student who not only showcases a passion for music but also a willingness to help others. This year's recipient has represented our school at the Florida Solo and Ensemble, District Junior Thespian Festival. She performed at the Pinellas All County Chorus in both seventh and eighth grade, and most recently represented our school at the Florida All State Chorus. I'm so excited to share with you this year's recipient, Kelly Roberts. Hi, Chris Tyson, I'm presenting the PE Awards. When we think of PE, we think of athletic ability alone, but this award is not based off of that. Um, both these students always had good sportsmanship, integrity, respectful, honest. They did everything I asked, and if they didn't know what they were doing, they at least tried. Um, 
So congratulations to Veronica Johnson and Patrick McCombs. For the eighth grade orchestra award, I proudly present this to Kelly Roberts. You have done amazing work the past three years in orchestra. I am so proud of everything you have accomplished and I can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations. Hi everyone, uh, Mr. Warren here to announce the winner of the STEM elective performance award for the year. The student I picked as the winner is someone who showed up every single day to work hard. They were always helpful, uh, not just in our classroom, but in other classrooms. So even though I made the envelope and put the name inside, I'm gonna reach in, pick it up. And the winner for the award this year is Sarah Robinson. Congratulations, I think you're very deserving of that award. Um, thank you. This year's 8th grade Technology Student of the Year is the only student to receive all four IC3 industry certifications, and that is Maria Camilla Ortega Valbuena. Congratulations. Congratulations to our elective award winners. Next, we have our National Junior Honor Society Awards, which will be presented by Ms. Thompson. Hello, Seminole Middle School students and families. Today, I want to honor students who have demonstrated not only academic excellence, but also strength of character. My name is Grace Thompson. I am the advisor of the Yehuli chapter of the National Junior Honor Society at Seminole Middle School. In addition to collecting $371 towards the Leukemia and Lymphoma Foundation, National Junior Honor Society members logged hundreds of community service hours. Students who are selected to be National Junior Honor Society members are not only great scholars as they maintain a, a GPA of 3.5 throughout their middle school careers, but they also uphold the other four pillars of membership, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Now, I will read the names of our 76 inducted National Junior Honor Society members. Amelia Anderson, Savannah Arlington, Sophia Azevedo, Maggie Bailey, Lauren Vassara, Kehlani Bishop, Brooke Bonzer, Ryan Brash, Riley Bronca, David Brown, Liam Cavanaugh, Abigail Call. Kylie Craig, Victoria Denny, Kaylee Denton, Gavin Dougherty, Abby Edmonston, Emma Evans, Gabriella Friend, Armani Gary, Lily Gast, Danica Gentile, Amelia Gruoso, Kendall Hoffman, Jaden Holler, Logan Hirsch, Walid Araki, Sophia Gerald, Samantha Kingston, McKenna Kohler, Isabella Konings, Ella Kunish, Valerie LeBlanc, Dominic Lead, Alma Yimena Linus Martinez, Colin Lesniak, Trenton Lundquist, Eliza Maidenberg, Heather Miller, Corinne Malloy, Isabella Moss, Colton Muller, Samantha Noser, Maria Camilla Ortega Valbuena, Maria Sofia Ortega Valbuena, Jacob Person, Skylar Fu, Sana Picard, Ava Pickle, Anthony Pierce Chalski, Kelly Roberts, Salvatore Rapuano, Gabrielle Reed, Daisy Rizzo Rivera, Sarah Robinson, Madison Rousseau, Grace Saunders, Natalie Sardo, Dima Shaheen, Sky Siebel, Cole Selden, Bella Short, Andrew Siegel, Sophia Spurgeon, Tyler Teixeira, Abby Thibodeau, Ella Thornsbury, Dutch Urquhart, Yara Valentin, Mahila Villarreal, Kate Ward, Anna Young. Brennan Maisie, National Junior Honor Society Treasurer. Peyton Smith, Secretary. Joanna Schechter, Vice President. Devin Schwartz, 
National Junior Honor Society president. Congratulations to our National Junior Honor Society members and congratulations to the class of 2024. Congratulations, National Junior Honor Society students, quite the accomplishment. I would like to recognize another big accomplishment, which is perfect attendance. For perfect attendance, I have to say, you actually have to have pretty darn good health too, because perfect attendance means not missing any day for the whole school year. So there's not too many students that have accomplished this. We have quite a few that missed just one day, so if you missed four periods or more, that counts as a day. But these eight students stayed healthy and attended every single day of the school year. So congratulations to the following. Sean Arbuckle, Riley Bronca, Veronica Johnson, Mackenzie Kohler, Nathan Lano, Gabrielle Reed, Mackenzie Smith, and Michaela Smith. Congratulations to the eight of you. That is an awesome accomplishment. Congratulations to our students with perfect attendance. That is quite an accomplishment to be proud of. It is my honor to present our presidential award winners. To earn the presidential award, students must have a 3.5 or higher GPA for all of middle school, including the first semester of the current 2019-20 school year. This is a very prestigious award, and we are so happy that we have so many to announce. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Gatesman to the stage to present the presidential awards. Okay, to start off this long list, I would like to offer to you Ava Ambrose, Amelia Anderson, Sean Arbuckle, Savannah Arlington, Ian Arroya Barbosa, Landon Austin, Maggie Bailey, Sophia Azevedo, Anthony Barber, Lauren Basara, Bianca Batchelder, Charlie Bashaw, Colin Bingham, Kalani Bishop, Brooke Bonzer, Ryan Brash, Riley Bronca, David Brown, Logan Brown. Nalium Canis, Liam Cavanaugh, Abigail Cole, Kylie Craig, Victoria Denny, Kaylee Denton, Landon DeShotels, Gavin Daughtry, Abby Edmiston, John Eisenhart, George Emanuel, Emma Evans, Michael Fabrizio, Gabriella Friend, Armani Gary, Lily Gast, Danica Gentile, Emilia Gruosa, Celia Guzman, Kayla Harrelson, Angel Harvard, Sophia Hayes, Journey Hines, Kendall Hoffman, Jaden Holler, Logan Hirsch, Addison Hutchins. We have Waleed Iraqi, Gabriella Jackson, Caden Jenkins, Sophia Gerald, Veronica Johnson, Katherine Kelly, Samantha Kingston, McKenna Kohler, Isabella Coings, Ella Kunish, Sydney Kypros, Valerie LeBlanc, Dominic Lighty, Alma Lemus Martinez, Colin Lesniak, Ethan Lindsay, Nathan Lano, Trenton Lundquist, Eliza Maidenberg, Brennan Maisie, Patrick McCombs, Heather Miller, Corinne Malott, Tandy Moss, Colton Muller, Samantha Noser, 
Riley O'Brien, Maria Camila Ortega Balbueno, and Maria Sofia Ortega Balbueno. Adam Pace, Adriana Parker, Charity Parker, Grace Peck, Jacob Person, Jesse Philbrick, Skylar Fu, Saina Picard, Ava Pickle, Anthony Pierschowski, Salvatore Rapiano, Gabriella Reed, Daisy Rizzo Rivera, Sarah Robinson, Janessa Ross, Madison Russo, Grace Sanders, Natalie Sardo, Joanna Schechter, Rissa Schmader, Willie Scott, Sky Siebel, Cole Selden, Dima Shaheen, Bella Short, and Andrew Siegel. Then we have Gabrielle Smith, Mackenzie Smith, Michaela Smith, Peyton Smith, Robert Snyder, Sophia Spurgeon, Alyssa Sturgis, Devin Schwartz, Tyler Texera, Devin Tinney, Kyle Tebow, Abby Teodo, Ella Thornsberry, Dutch Urquhart, Yara Valentin, Andrew Villamagna, Mihaila Villareal, Caitlin Ward, Donovan Wheeler, Emmy Weisel, Anna Young, and Cassidy Zellner. This completes that long list of presidential award winners. Congratulations to all of you. Next year, our eighth grade students will branch out and represent Seminole Middle School at every high school in Pinellas County. We are very excited to see our students move on to high school where they will continue to make huge academic strides. As a former high school teacher, I would like to encourage you all to get involved in your high school. Don't be afraid to try new things. Join a club or try out for a sport that you may have been thinking about in middle school because before you know it, you will be graduating from high school and moving on to the next chapter in your life. Eighth grade, Hawks, we are so proud of all the hard work and dedication that you have put forth in your three years here at Seminole Middle School. Thank you so much and good luck in high school. Well, that concludes our eighth grade virtual awards ceremony. I hope you liked it. Um, eighth graders, please know that we do miss you so, so much, and we wish you the best of luck next year at high school. Thank you, and have a great summer. Take care. Bye-bye.